Pulitzer Prize. I covered Gulf Wars 1 and 2 from Baghdad, and now I'm teaching students in China to do the same thing. I'm Peter Arnett, and I'm in Saigon, 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present the best of the best, my pal, Peter Arnett. I first came to Saigon 47 years ago as a young reporter for the Associated Press, and I stayed at the Caraval for several months, but a lot has changed now. John, how are you? Peter, good to see you here. Welcome, welcome to the new Caravel. Very different to when you knew it. I'd love to show you around the hotel. Well, John, this is the new part of the hotel, isn't it? This huge uh, desk area wasn't here when I was here. That's right, Peter. We opened this 11 years ago at the same time we renovated the old, uh, the original Caravel. And I couldn't have imagined the time when a huge, newer, new modern tower would be erected. It must say something about Vietnam today. Absolutely, and it's illustration of the booming economy as well as tourism. It's really taken yeah. off. Well, this is uh, one of our restaurants. It's called. Uh, but this used to be the ABC Suites. It's our fine dining restaurant. It's called Reflections, and the reason for that is that we've got photos of original Saigon, the old Saigon, all around the all around the room, and it's uh, it's a great memory to to walk around and just have a look at the old city. This reflects a distant past, and uh, do you feel that's appropriate for modern Vietnam? Absolutely. I think uh, I think the city has gone through so much and you'd be surprised how many people come back here and spend their time walking around this restaurant looking at the old what, what, what about Vietnamese people? They love it. But it's interesting to me that the Vietnamese reflect on this an earlier comfortable time and the pictures are wonderful. It, it's amazing how many Vietnamese have come in here and looked at the pictures and said, oh, I wonder if I can see my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned we're going to one of the corner suites. Well, these were the preserves of the uh, American television networks, because this was the first television war in journalism history. So they put enormous resources mm. into, into coverage. The dimensions of these suites are the same, but they look very differently in the, in the 1960s. This beautiful furniture, there'd be a bench here with editing machines uh, lined up. There'd be cameras and video maybe over on that side. Plus, you had the visuals. You could look out on the city. You know, in Saigon, in those days, there were none of these very tall buildings. You could almost see to the airport. Today, there's no way you can see it. First of all, there's too much pollution. But secondly, there's many buildings getting, getting in the way. Okay, John, thanks for the look around. Now I'm going to go and see the rest of Saigon. Bye. Bye.